First at 10, it is almost the new year, and for many, it's going to be the first time in more than a year to celebrate and ring it in with friends and family. A lot of West Michigan events, of course, canceled last year due to COVID. Yeah, now some are trying to make up for the lost time. Our Matt Wickos went out to Van Andel Arena to see how they're prepping for the big night. Matt. Yeah, Aaron and Janice, organizers are feeling the excitement. They're getting ready in to ring in the new year here. With COVID on their mind, they've been kind of planning this for the past six months. And in just a few hours, they're going to be ready to have people in here to ring in the new year. People are planning to ring the new year in with a bang. It's a pretty cool spectacle uh, to see if you've never been seen fireworks indoors. Many are lining up to see the Grand Rapids Griffins and the annual fireworks show inside the Van Andel Arena. We are expecting a sellout, but there are tickets available. This is a Griffin's first New Year's Eve party since COVID-19 shut them down last year. Just hopefully provide people with good entertainment and a fun night out and kind of give them a sense of somewhat normalcy for a couple hours of entertainment. Like many West Michigan events, the show is still going on, despite the rise in COVID-19 numbers and a new variant spreading. We highly encourage encourage fans to wear masks and practice social distancing. And obviously we take our cues from, you know, not only local government, but state government as well. Organizers are also making sure people feel safe when walking around the arena. Provide a lot of hand sanitizing, you know, there's a lot of things implement that the arena has in place to sanitize kind of everything around. Yeah, and in just a few hours, crews are going to be in here getting set up for that big fireworks show. The Grand Rapids Griffins pucks drops at 6 o'clock with the fireworks show kicking off right after. Reporting live here in Grand Rapids, I'm Matt Whitcoast, Fox 17 News.